Hi everyone. It's been continuously raining in Orange County for uh, last three days. So I did not do much except some required harvest uh, during these days. Clouds got cleared as uh, sun showed up this morning. So I spent good three hours of time in garden by pulling weeds, sowing four or five different uh, seed varieties and uh, other small work. Let's go see how it looks like. This uh, bed used to have uh, cauliflowers and red chard plants. Cauliflowers are gone after harvest and I pulled two chard plants uh, just now because uh, in the front yard I have so many plants growing. This is tomato indeterminate plant. You hardly see it uh, now but you can see it better after pulling weeds. The thin plant growing next to it is Moringa. It doesn't look uh, healthy now due to winter and cold weather. This will definitely thrive during summer. This pineapple plant is propagated from fruit at the very beginning. It is neither growing uh, nor dying. I sowed uh, Mesta seed after uh, harvesting cauliflowers. You see them uh, here growing uh, covered with weeds and they turned uh, red due to continuous rain and cold weather. I think I sowed a little early in season. Usually all tropical plants grow well during summer or uh, warm weathers. So obviously this is one of the tropical plant. The black bugs you see here are called as rolly poly or uh, pill bugs. Other bugs accompanying these are uh, probably thrips which are also help garden by eating uh, their plant sucking counterparts as well as mites, lace bugs etc. There are tons of them found in uh, HS garden uh, and they are everywhere. Let's see how Rolly polys are useful in garden. Rolly poly bugs are decomposers. They digest waste like uh, scat as well as decaying matter from dead plants and animals and then return the essential nutrients back into the soil. Because Rolly polys are sensitive to change in the environment, they also serve as biological indicators for the health of ecosystems. It is hard not to step to pull weeds at wall edge and you see what's happening. The soil is getting hard because it is a clay soil. So I used a hand shovel to loosen it a little bit before sow seeds. Pulling weeds is the most time taking task for me since Thanksgiving because of continuous uh, rain. I covered some places with pine mulch as you see here. Uh, which I got from pine trees we removed uh, recently but it is uh, not helpful either. Weeds supposed to slow down uh, due to the acidic nature of pine mulch but I did not see much effect this time. In addition to the weeds one more issue I found is slugs. These gastropods eating up the seedlings as soon as they showed up. Almost all seedlings like okra, sunflower, cucumbers, tomatoes etc. have been uh, eaten by slugs this season. So I am continuously sowing the seeds for 2-3 rounds so far. I hope uh, these will slow down little bit when uh, weather get warmer. This bed is clean now. Here I am sowing a few more masta seeds to thicken the bed enough. This is how seeds look like. These are the only pack left so I need to collect seeds this year to make them available for next season. We can sow these uh, seeds little deep because the seeds are bigger and harder. The Mesta greens are easy to grow green vegetable from uh, seeds.
Next seed to sow is uh, zucchini black beauty variety seeds. I bought last year. Sowed a few seeds three weeks ago but only one germinated as you see here. And when I pulled seeds sowed uh, to see what's going on, they were rotten uh, due to continuous rain. So now I am sowing few of them uh, here uh, just next to the pineapple bed. So this is the problem with uh, buying seeds versus plants from nursery. We have to deal with many different issues uh, to grow plants from seeds. My tomato plants never survived and grow big enough to replant uh, due to slugs and snails. So I bought a Better Boy, uh, Phoenix and indeterminate varieties of tomato plants uh, to have them produced by early summer. This is the only vegetable I have to buy so frequently because we use them every day. Next one is cauliflower. I thought of waiting until next fall but uh, as the weather still yet to get warm, I wanted to try another round. This is the same snowball variety we have harvested a lot before in HS garden. Sowing them between uh, broad beans and uh, garlic we are growing. These can be replanted later. This is how seeds look like. Sprinkle the seeds and some dirt. As the seeds are small, we don't want to bury them deep. This is another vegetable uh, we can easily grow from seed and easily replant also. Next one is uh, red pearl onions. The small onions used for uh, pickling or stews are called pearl onions. Most reach no longer than an inch in diameter. These small onions require much the same care as uh, standard onion bulbs but they mature earlier and take up uh, less space in the garden bed. I bought these uh, for $1.99 in Indian grocery store. I am actually going to harvest onion greens to use every day so compared to onion sets bought in Home Depot these found cheaper with half price. And you are looking at onion sets uh, progress uh, we sowed few weeks ago. Remember that uh, many veggies growing in ground uh, pretty much need nothing additionally. Sow and harvest method works uh, until few first crops. If you are using kitchen waste to make compost that is beautiful and you don't have to spend additional money on fertilizer. I am planting onion sets and uh, pearl onions uh, new bed every other week for continuous harvest because I am planning not to buy onion bulbs anymore. By replacing green onions, uh, we are going to harvest continuously. Green onions are better in nutrition compared to bulbs too. Next task is uh, staking this uh, better boy tomato plant, pulling weeds in uh, beans bed. This is where uh, spinach jungle was growing and uh, remember on rainy day episode you see I pulled uh, spinach and sowed bean seeds. Although 90% of them germinated, I still see some room for few more plants and uh, I need to pull weeds too. So let's do that. This tomato plant is uh, pruned and uh, supported with bamboo stick for now because we are running uh, out of tomato cages. I need to buy few more. These are two different uh, bean variety seeds I have. I am sowing them in the gaps now. Beans are very easy to grow vegetable, uh, sow and harvest kind I would say. I grew them in last fall and have noticed no pests or issues. 
I am hoping abundant harvest this summer too. I think beans is the only vegetable available in many different varieties, shapes, colors and sizes. Next and last thing we see in this episode is uh, the green peas harvest we made two days ago and plants still loaded with a lot of green peas. I hope you find this episode informative and helpful. I will see you in next video. Thank you for watching.